Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel for the final episode of Ninjago Face-Off. In this Face-Off finale, we'll be comparing the two eras that made up Ninjago's first series, the Wilfilm years and the Wild Red years. This might seem like an unfair comparison, but I honestly feel like it's not. I feel like both of these series have their highs and their lows. They each have good seasons and bad seasons. We'll start with the Wilfilm era. This lasted from 2011 to 2019. As a whole, it had a really strong beginning. It was responsible for introducing the cast and characters, and it did so really well. The character arcs back then were fantastic, and honestly, I still feel like they're pretty unrivaled. This was the part of Ninjago that most people remember. It was when viewership and probably interest was at its peak. But really, Ninjago was pretty good after that as well. Rebooted was kind of a bump in the road. It wasn't that good in my opinion, but seasons four, five, and six, pretty good stuff. These seasons really expand the world of Ninjago. We're introduced to concepts such as the realms, Air Jitsu, the Elemental Dragons. Unfortunately, a lot of these concepts got removed, but they were pretty important at the time being, and the 16 realms still are. I feel like these seasons showed that Ninjago was still able to have purpose and quality even after its original run. 2016 and 2017 were definitely this era's rough patch. Day of the Departed in season seven, it was definitely a dip in quality. The writing was noticeably worse. The animation for season seven was bad too. This period for the show was definitely pretty stale, it felt like they underdelivered on some really good ideas and concepts. There was also the Lego Ninjago movie. The movie by itself, I feel, is pretty forgettable. It just kind of exists, but it had huge impacts on Ninjago. It led to season eight, the show's best season for me. The Odin trilogy was a very successful revival for Ninjago, coming right after the show's weakest point. Season eight and season nine were fantastic. A good portion of season 10 was as well. It had a pretty weak ending, unfortunately, but I still feel the Odin trilogy, these three seasons, that's Ninjago's peak. This was a very strong period for Ninjago. I feel that Ninjago still hasn't been able to surpass the Odi trilogy. So that's the Wilf of Era at a glance. Pretty strong beginning, very strong ending, a few bad seasons here and there. After season 10, a new animation studio called Wild Rain picked up the show. While season one of Ninjago was very strong, I feel season 11 is still pretty rocky. This season has definitely aged well over time, including for my own personal opinions, but it still feels very experimental. Like the writers were trying out this format for the first time and seeing what opportunities it provided. So you get stuff like anime inspired episodes and the preeminent returning. So there's definitely a lot of creativity, but that doesn't necessarily fit right for me. This kind of stuff feels focused on too much at the expense of compelling character arcs. If there was ever a season I felt truly neutral about, it's this one. The good and bad just all kind of evens out in the end. But then the seasons start to get better. Season 12 was definitely a step in the right direction, it really felt a lot more focused, but it was still kind of lacking for character development. But then that issue was fixed by seasons 13 and 14. I love how these seasons explore stuff the original era never got to do, such as having seasons for Cole and Nia. Cole's character work in season 13 is just perfect. It's great to see him get the focus he deserved, finally. Then season 14 steps it up with this very emotional finale, the biggest and most important conclusion since season three. After playing it safe for so long, it felt like the show was finally willing to change things up. And with these two seasons, it really felt like the writers were getting the hang of this format and focusing more on the important stuff, such as the characters and the story. And then Crystallize comes around. This season is very controversial. And honestly, I feel like its first part is pretty good. I really enjoyed how the past two seasons built up to the Vegetone story. And season 15 continues that build up. The development towards the Crystal Council and the returning villains is so good. And Crystallize was really shaping up to be a whole conclusion. The Overlord was back, Garbo was back. It was really addressing every era of the show so far. And then the ending is just really bad, unfortunately. Ruby's character is ruined, Nia's arc is just completely wasted, and Lloyd's is very misunderstood. It's the worst finale of Ninjago, in my opinion. It's a very weak conclusion to what was otherwise a very strong era for Ninjago. So that's the Wild Brain era. It had a pretty mediocre beginning, a very strong middle, and the ending was kind of a disaster. But still, the Wild Brain era is pretty awesome. The best animated fights of the entire show, some of the show's most interesting and creative concepts yet. But ultimately, the better of these two eras, in my opinion, is Will Film. Most of you will probably agree with me. I feel like both periods were fantastic for Ninjago, but the Will Film era definitely had higher highs. And that was, for me, the Odin trilogy, a really well-crafted three-season story, and the Wild Brain era gets close, but never really matches this. Also, the Will Film years just had better character work. The Wild Brain seasons were great for Lloyd and Cole, but were pretty bad for Jade Zane. So yeah, those are my thoughts explained. The Will Film years were definitely better, 
But who knows, maybe Dragon's Rising could top both of these arrows. And that's all for this 20th and final episode of Ninjago Face Off. This series originally ran on my channel back in 2019, and last year in July, I brought it back. I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos done in my current style, and I've enjoyed them as well. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone Devon you know. Which of these two eras of Ninjago do you prefer? Comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.